time to get moving on your summer reading. Brian Euchre is here from the Book Nook and Java Shop in Montague, and he's here with some suggestions for all ages. Good to see you again. It's Great been a while. Great to see you too, yeah. Happy summer. Summer's finally here. Finally. And I know, right? And it's time to catch up on some, some reading, and you brought some great examples. What'd you bring for us today? Uh, the first one is our book club book. It's the adult fiction. It's called The Overstory, and the it's, Overstory. it's like 400 pages, but it, it has nine interlocking stories, oh. but along, alongside of the stories are uh, trees as kind of characters, and by the time you're done with the book, you just have a different perspective on how slowly time moves for nature, oh, and it gives you kind of a broader perspective. Fascinating. In the, you know, these days of climate change and things like that. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. All right, and what, what do we have right here? What's the second one? Road to Characters by David Brooks, who is a writer for the New York Times, and it's, um, no, the second mountain, Road to Characters, his first mm -hmm. book. Second mountain, the first mountain is basically when we all try to go after success, and we mm -hmm. climb the first mountain, we get to the top of the mountain, it's like, oh, is there anything else? <laughs> right, right. And so he's, he's saying that uh, truly happy people are those that climb the second mountain, which it's more about others than about yourself. So it's committing, oh, deep. Commit, committing to family, committing to community, committing to a religion or philosophy. Okay. And uh, yeah. So it's kind, of, it's kind of like a self-help kind of spiritual. It's more philosophical. Thing. Philosophical. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. He's a very good writer. And this third one, this is a Michigan author. Yeah, and it's uh, small towns under uh, 600 Michigan. people. So it's 100 little towns in Michigan uh, with population under 600. Oh. And it's got a little map, so like if you're gonna travel to the east side, you can see all the small towns you're gonna pass by, and it gives a little history about each one and what, what makes it unique. What a great idea. Yeah. yeah. I, so. I love that concept, little Michigan. Yeah. I love, that's a great with idea. Small towns, huge character. What do we have over here? This is the young adult uh, ch choice, and it's with the fire on high, and it's about a girl who uh, accidentally gets pregnant when she's in high school, Ooh. and uh, she's, it's her struggle with raising her kid and trying to finish school, and then also working, and it, her passion is cooking. So, it, and, But this is geared towards young adults, because mm -hmm. it sounds like kind of a heavy theme for, yeah. but, but it works. Older huh? young adults. Okay, gotcha, <laughs> okay. All right, just wanted to clarify that, okay. Yeah. Yeah, with fire on high, so it, it, it's a reference to cooking. Uh, she pours her love and passion into cooking, and that's where she her talents show. Okay, awesome. And then finally, this what is this one over here? It's the Grumpy Monkey. The Grumpy Monkey. <laughs> he wakes up one day. I love the day. cover. Yeah, it's great. He wakes up one day grumpy, and everybody's trying to fix it. You know, just smile or just you know stop frowning. And so his. I'm gonna best... warn. I want to warn the camera guy because I want to pick this up and look at it. Real yeah. Quick. There we go. Thank you. I'm gonna just thumb through this <laughs> because just. But the... his best friend is like, okay, just feel grumpy for a day. You know, don't try to mask it. Now, how do you? What, what's your what's your criteria for for picking out the books when you come to see us? How do you how do you decide which ones will make uh, the cut? I, I mean, I do all the five because categories. These are, these are awesome. Yeah, there are five categories, and I just see what's picked piqued my interest in the last month. <laughs> I love this one. Yeah, the that's Grumpy. on the New York Times bestseller list right now. Oh, it is. Okay, yeah. I love. But I it's basically, I, I actually heard on the radio coming over here that. Um, Jobs that make you smile all mm -hmm. day, yeah. whether no matter how you feel underneath, those people have to drink a lot more than. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, say that again. Because they're suppressing their real, true feelings. The the, the jobs that make you smile yeah. all day, you know, our, like our, our customer make... service jobs. Oh, those. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that make you smile. Yeah. That force you to that smile. That force you to smile. Oh, like okay. Customers. I thought. Yeah. Okay. That force you to smile. Right. Okay. That. Yeah. I'm glad we clarified <laughs> they that. They did a study. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you yeah. clarified that. Yeah. So it's okay to be grumpy once in a while. Gotcha. Just not this is a, customers. This, well, as always, these are great choices, and you're in Montague. It's a great place. We appreciate you. Oh, we have a here. jazz festival coming up this week. Oh, talk about starts, that real quick. Uh, we have uh, the, the website is West Michigan mm -hmm. Wine Jazz, so it's wine okay. festival and jazz festival. Nice. It's, it starts uh, tomorrow night and goes through Sunday. What a great time. It'll yep. be a great time. Well, we appreciate it, sir. Thank you. And you can find this list on our website, 13onyourside.com. We'll be right back.